fire scarred California will end fire threat, bring new dangers. Heavy rain this week could help quench the campfire burning in Northern California, bringing with it an end to the threat of more wildfires this year but also new dangers. Trump says he loves the military, but he keeps insulting its members. For a president who professes to revere the U.S. military more than any of his predecessors, Donald Trump gets entangled in a lot of scrapes that raise doubts about the sincerity of his admiration. Fatal shootings in four states mark start of holiday week. Thanksgiving week got off to a violent start Monday. Asylum seekers wait for decision on their fate. CNN video. CNN's Gary Tuckman speaks with immigrants waiting for a decision on their fate after having crossed the U.S. border seeking asylum. How 2018 reframed a Democrat's biggest choice for 2020. Though the 2018 election opened intriguing opportunities in the Sun Belt, new data suggests the shortest path back to the White House for Democrats may be through the three Rust Belt swing states that President Donald Trump dislodged from the blue wall to why. <laughs> Judge blocks Trump administration from denying asylum claims to immigrants who cross border illegally. A federal judge on Monday issued a temporary restraining order barring the Trump administration from enforcing asylum ban. Ivanka Trump used personal account for emails about government business. Ivanka Trump last year often used a personal email account to discuss or relay official White House business, according to emails released Monday by a nonpartisan watchdog group. McConnell expresses little appetite for tackling immigration, despite President Donald Trump's alarm that a caravan of migrants heading to the U.S. border from Central America was causing a crisis in the run-up to the midterm elections. Republican leadership in the Senate expressed little desire Wednesday to tackle the The president says he is keeping us safe. But at what cost? President Donald Trump's policy decisions on immigration and the rhetoric that seeks to justify them aren't just stoking fear and hate at a time when extremism is on the rise, says Elliot Williams. They're also a waste of American money and resources. RNC chair on controversial Trump video, good people are trying to come into the country, too. Republican National Committee Chairwoman Rona McDaniel declined on Sunday to address an incendiary immigration video shared last week by President Donald Trump, instead saying that, we know good people are trying to come into the country, too.